Hello everyone, it's Nature Angel and today we are going to talk about something that I think is very important but a lot of people tend to forget which is time management and self-care and this is so 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 important all the time but especially if you're in grad school. I don't want to make this too long, so I'm going to give you five tips on how to basically manage your time in grad school effectively and also remembering certain things about self-care as well. So the first thing that I think is very important that I always use whenever I'm managing um, my time and how the week is going to go, what I'm going to do is an agenda. I like to use the one that is the daily monthly planner so it has every day in it and it breaks it down into different times and you can schedule it out by the hour or you can schedule it out by the month or both it has little areas where you can write the top three things you want to get to and then the things that you are to do that day as well as notes and like i said it has the times there some people like to do this in their phone. I prefer to write it by hand, but whatever is easiest for you, you do it that way. But I think that one of the most satisfying things that you can do in here or on a list, which is getting into another tip I have, is to check off items. So they have a little checklist here, and I just feel like getting a pencil or a pen and clicking that and then just checking off what you have to do makes you feel like you accomplished something and you can do that for things that you have to do things that you want to do so for example since it's the summer i'm not in school so i still have stuff that i have to do and i also have a summer internship currently so i write down what i want to do and get done on that day and what's the most important and then I check that off when I finish it and it feels so good but I also write down like what workouts I want to do if I want to stretch that day and even though it's something little just having that there as a reminder and then also being able to say I did it is such a satisfying <laughs> moment of my day another great skill when you are in school because there's so much reading that has to be done is learning how to read efficiently and i will tell you professors will expect you to read every single thing that they give you it is just not possible for most people i know when i was in school i literally had a ga full time i was working on top of that i was in class full time and because of our classes we had to go out and do things like such as practicum and going to a school i did not have time to read hundreds and hundreds of pages all the time but i knew i needed to learn so a quote that i love is work smarter not harder and let me tell you this is so true because you're not going to know everything you're not even going to know everything if you read all the stuff we're learning constantly so to sit there and try to find time when you have no time it's not going to work so skim readings read what you need to so let's say there's a subject that you have and you really like it's one of your poor areas definitely read that like take that into priority read for that but then let's say there's another class let's say you have stat class and there's reading to do but you are great at stat like you've been doing well you know what you're doing then skim the reading and if there's anything that stands out to you that is giving you difficulty then read that but it wouldn't make sense for you to sit there and read all of the stat that you already know so that's what i mean by work smarter not harder coming to the self-care part this is so important everyone and of course it's going to vary from person to person some examples of self-care could be listening and dancing to your favorite songs if you have a dog walking your dog 
It could be anything that you do for you that makes you relax and feel at peace. And you need that. You need to take a day. And again, remember how I said writing down the list and planning for your week. Let's say you have a busy week. You can plan to have a self-care day, self-care hour. You do need to take breaks in whatever you're doing for school. So to be able to set aside a certain time like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna take a bath and use a bath bomb if that relaxes you or oh I'm going to stop doing my work there's a book I want to read do that if there's a show on Netflix or a movie take a break and do that I'm not telling you to not do your work but you know what you're not gonna be as efficient and effective in your work if you are just sitting there trying to get everything done or if you wait until the last minute you're gonna be stressed out and it's gonna show so and plus no one wants to be stressed out so if you just do a little at a time and make sure that you're taking care yourself it should help so much especially for your mental health I think so many people forget you know to do things that they enjoy and forget about their mental health and it's so important so self-care guys take breaks do things that you love you can do it for a whole day and if you don't have time for a day again you can do it for 30 minutes an hour or two but you definitely have to take care of yourself all right, and the last thing is learning to say no and not over committing yourself because I know a lot of people like to try to kind of be overachievers and that's fine if, let's say for your self care, it helps for you to be involved and to be active. But I also know a lot of people aren't like that and they kind of want to overachieve to impress others. But if that is at the cost of yourself and your own self-care it's not worth it sometimes there might be a lot of things that you want to do but if you try to do it you're going to burn yourself out and it's okay to say no because we're human we can't do everything and that's okay but we have to get used to knowing that and being able to say no to certain things and even sometimes there's fun things but you can't always do it. Like I know in school, there might be a test that you have next day. And maybe you've been studying, but you need to study a little more, but your friends wanna go out and do, you know, go and party, whatever it is. And, or even just like seeing a movie, but you wanna say yes, but you know that you're gonna be thinking about how you should have studied and stayed in. It's okay to say no to your friends for that day because you could try to hang out with them afterwards, but don't feel like you're going to miss out on something if you say no when you know you really wanted to stay home and study for that test. Like, it's okay, say no sometimes, and you will know when you need to say no. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is following through with that because I know it's really difficult for some people and it could take some time but but honestly once you start saying no to people you'll get used to it and I'm not saying to do that all the time there's a time and a place for it but it can be useful just don't be afraid to use it so guys that's everything I tried to make this really brief and I really hope that it's helpful because I know a lot of people want to know how to manage their time so again I'm gonna do a quick little overview having an agenda or doing it on your phone like you can use the calendar on your phone to help manage your time doing self-care so that you are your best self and again it can be short long a whole day make sure you plan for it also having those to-do lists so that you can check off the things you did and it'll make you feel so much better when reading and working in general work smarter not harder and of course don't forget that it is all right to say no to things you don't have to overcommit yourself to anything <laughs> So everyone, I hope that you enjoy and I hope that this helps. I'm happy that it is summertime and we have a break even though it's so hot and I am definitely a fall and winter person. <laughs> but if you like videos like this, let me know. And if you have any more tips for time management, self-care, leave it down below. I didn't want to make this video too, too long. So I did try to shorten it, but there are many things that you can do. And I hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.